Alright Joe, so we are getting ready to head out to Swim and Lena. So I'm going to be getting there to Market Square, probably at like 8.20ish. And then we're trying to catch the 8.50 ferry. So it's not as long as I thought to actually get over there. It's only like 15 minutes apparently. Um, but yeah, then I'm probably going to spend maybe like 2, 3, cl probably closer to 3 hours over there and head back. Um, just in time so I can probably eat some lunch and chill for a little bit before the actual podcast with the uh, the mighty Finland folk. So yeah, should be pretty chill day for the most part. I'm really excited to check out this Sua Molina though because like seeing the pictures, especially like the satellite view, like the Google Maps satellite view, it just seems like really cool, kind of like interesting setup. Different from some other sort of fortress islands that I've seen before. Now I'm pretty much good shopping wise. I've gotten a pretty decent amount of souvenirs, but I still want to try and get some more like traditional Finnish snacks because I haven't had much time to, to get some. I probably could have, but I know I was walking around a lot and I didn't want a bunch of like chocolate or what have you melting in my bag. I'm like moderately hydrated. It really helps so you can actually drink the tap water without it tasting horrible and making you sick. So that kind of helps. And I got my comfy shoes on, so I'm ready for the day. Should be a good one. Really cool area, especially with like the whole market square set up. It opens a lot earlier than I would have expected too. But yeah, I mean I like just these seaside areas are always really cool. Get some good B-roll footage. I've been recording all the seagulls, so I might as well get like some different birds as well. <laughs> Those, are... <laughs> Those are cute. <laughs> Those Damn, it just smells like an old pump room, huh? So th is this where the horses were? Yeah, correct. Oh, damn, so this is fucking TV shit. Just got floors over them, so they start to eat. <laughs> oh, so God. The pools where the pumps used to be. Yeah, yeah. And they used to have floors on top of them. Okay. And then the horses would walk like in circles, like on top of these. Uh, those loops that you can see on the ceiling, yeah. that's where the pump equipment would have been attached to. And apparently still when they fill up the dry dock, the water still rises into here. Okay. And you can huh. observe from here as well. That's cool. And those are all parts of the old pumps. Does Finland have like any um, ghost tours or anything like that? Um, so it's actually believed that there are ghosts here in the fortress as well. Like the locals who live here. Yeah. yeah. They have a story of a ghost called the Cape Man because a lot of people recall seeing a ghost that has a cape. Okay. And that's one of the ghost stories that you're. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's a fitting name. <laughs> These here are actually parts, so this space was also used for brewing beer. Okay. Like after it was used as a pump. <laughs> okay. And these are uh, lids of the barrels. Oh, okay. That's cool. All <laughs> right. Oh, okay. Small. Still here. 
Yeah, it's not that mm. deep, but... It's not dramatic, where it yeah. echoes a bunch. Wish I could go there. <laughs> yeah, feels like we're like on a ghost hunt right now. The flashlight's <laughs> a weird tunnel. <laughs> Man, that water looks fucking cold. <laughs> I think it is pretty cold, so. That water must be a lot deeper than I yep. than you'd think, huh? Just I just zoom in on them. I like all the seagulls that are just chilling behind the cruise ship. Look at the fish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh oh, they're gonna fucking, it's like a gauntlet. <laughs> they're gonna fucking attack us. Feels like I'm doing a ghost hunt with the night vision. Watch your head there. So you get oh, I'm screaming up your side. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So back in the 18th century there. Used to be a secret society here at the fortress. Of course. And it consisted, <laughs> <laughs> or like members of the secret society were the officers and the generals who were working here, or mm. some of them at least. And they had to find or start the secret society because they were unhappy with the Swedish king, which is the third. Check him out. It's <laughs> a good time to record it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So so far, Soma Lena is actually really freaking cool. You can definitely get a much better appreciation of the area when you actually know a little bit more about it because a lot of times I go to historical places and I don't really know what I'm looking at and you just can't appreciate it. I mean, you can read the stuff, but it's not as cool as somebody who kind of like, you know, knows the area a little bit better. They can kind of explain it in normal terms, I guess. But yeah, so far it's really cool. And it's just also really, really picturesque. I mean, I've seen a bunch of like pictures and whatnot, but actually being here is, is different, pretty cool. There's definitely a lot more to it than I kind of expected initially. So it's pretty awesome so far. electrical connectors, the switches. 
Oh yeah, yeah okay, yeah. I'll be honest, how did that group spend that much time in here? <laughs> Rolls Royce actually? Yeah. It was it used to be Mannerheim's Rolls Royce. Oh no kidding. Why it's license plate says the same one on it at the front. <laughs> oh, should I take a video? <laughs> I'll have to put that in. Cool. Take a video of me me walking past it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Must be kind of weird to have a Naval Academy when you have like tourists walking around and stuff. All right, so I gotta say Suma and Lena was very, very cool. It was awesome having a guy that like knew so much about it. Cause I mean, I go to a lot, again, a lot, I go to a lot of historical places and museums and whatnot. And I don't get a really good appreciation for everything, usually because I'm rushed, but I think we had enough time to go over everything. And he explained everything really, really well. So it was really cool to get a much better appreciation for the history and some of like even some of the stories behind some of the things which is kind of cool but yeah it was just again another beautiful day which definitely helps out i thought it was gonna be a little bit rougher but it actually turned out to be like the perfect day especially since we did a lot of walking so it was like perfect for that it wasn't too hot wasn't too cold and again just being by the water and whatnot is like super cool especially with all the cruise ships and the ferries going by i don't know it even like sounded cool like hearing all the the water getting moved around by the wind and crashing against the rocks and of course you had all the seagulls around i mean you guys will probably see some of the footage of the seagulls but yeah hearing like the seagulls again i'm like a big fan i know the seagulls here are probably like kind of mean just like snatching food and whatnot but when you hear seagulls i know i'm like near the water and that's just something that I'm like more comfortable with. It definitely reminds me of, you know, back home in New Jersey, being along the coast and whatnot. So it was pretty freaking sweet. I'm getting ready to head out to do the podcast with the Mighty Finland dudes. So that's going to be fun as well. And then that, that's probably going to be the last thing I do today because, yeah, it's going to get a little bit later on. But, yeah, and then tomorrow should be cool. But I'll give you guys a little bit of an update. I'll try, try and give you guys a little bit of an update after the podcast. So. I'll see you then. All right, Joe, so today has been really freaking cool. So again, I went to Swam and Lina, and then I did the podcast with the Mighty Finland guys. And that was just a really, really good time. We had some pretty cool discussions. Even after the podcast, we went for a drink, and we had some more awesome discussions. I actually got recognized by, by the bartender, which was kind of cool. So if you're watching, bartender, I appreciate the, the drink on the house. That was really, really cool. And then I actually got recognized again while we were drinking. So yeah, it was just, it was a weird time, but it was really, really cool. And again, we had some really solid discussions. So it's a little bit late. It's about 11 p.m. right now. Now tomorrow I'm going shooting with uh, Yari from Varostaleka, which should be cool. I want to see, I, I think I'm a decent shooter, but I know he does like competitions and whatnot. So should be pretty cool to see how we kind of stack up. But again, just shooting in general, it's always a good time. And then I'm gonna try and check out the, the sauna. So we'll see how much I can fit in in one day, but that's the schedule 
right now but again today was really freaking awesome definitely uh definitely tired so i'm i think i'm gonna sleep pretty well I, I don't know it depends if i'm used to the the sunlight being out all the time but yeah today was awesome and uh yeah i'm excited for tomorrow should be a good time so i guess i don't know if this is gonna be a, a separate video again but i guess i'll see you guys in the next segment video we'll see <laughs>